Hello everybody, this is John with NAPCO Technical Support. In this brief video tutorial, we will be going over IP communications and how to program your alarm control panel and Netlink modules to report full contact ID via TCP IP communications, which is IP reporting to your central station over an internet connection. Uh, you will need to have Quick Loader for Windows and also the NL Mod Configuration Tool 3.0.3.0 or greater installed on your computer, uh, which we'll be using for this video. Uh, first, you will need to install a Netlink module, such as a Z Remote, an I Remote, an NL Mod, or a GemC NL Mod uh, onto your control panel, which all these models all have a built-in IP communicator. Uh, so please check your Netlink module installation guide for all of our supported Gemini panels and possible firmware requirements for your control panel. And this is just a photo of a Z remote model, as you see pictured here. Uh, in addition, in order for our Netlink modules to send signals to your central station, you would need to make sure that your central station has our rack-mounted NAPCO Netlink receivers. Uh, we don't support sending signals to any other IP receivers, uh, just to our dedicated NAPCO IP receivers. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to make sure that your uh, central station has that receiver uh, before you go out installing. Uh, you would also need to call your central station and provide them with the MAC address of the Netlink module. Uh, this MAC address is located on the front Ethernet port, uh, which is located right here. Uh, this is the main Ethernet port, uh, so you'd want to give them that MAC address. And at that point, they will provide you with the IP address of their NAPCO receiver, which you will program into the NLMod configuration tool. Once again, if you do not have the NLMod configuration tool or Quick Loader for Windows, you can download these softwares for free from our technical support site at tech.napcosecurity.com. Okay, and at this point, after obtaining the IP information from your central station, you will need to wire the module onto the control panel please refer to your installation guide on complete wiring instructions. And also, you need to connect the module to the customer's network via CAT5 Ethernet cable. So the CAT5 Ethernet jack is located here on the front of the module. Uh, the module by default is set to DHCP, so this port should obtain an IP address automatically, which you can search for and find using the NLMOC configuration tool. Uh, in addition to this, very importantly, I like to have your laptop connected to the panel locally uh, with your PCI Mini, uh, which is very important because we need to program the feature TCP IP communication and do all the programming with Quick Loader first. Then you can switch the serial cable to the Netlink module once all the programming is complete. Uh, you can enable TCP IP communications via the keypad and then do all your programming through the uh, blue TCP IP uh, communications link in Quick Loader. Uh, but that's probably for those who have done this once or twice before. Uh, so we will be connecting to the panel locally uh, doing our programming. In the programming, you will go into Digital Communications. And under Telco 1, what we're going to want to do here is disable the format. And we're going to check off Report to TCP IP Receiver or AES. And then we're going to click on Digital Dialing Options and we're going to enable TCP IP communications. Uh, if you're doing more than one IP address, uh, reporting Telco 1 and Telco 2, you'd want to then enable backup reporting. And if you go to central station receivers, you could also disable Telco 2. And check this off. Uh, just remember, you need to have two IP addresses uh, for your NLMOC configuration tool that you would import into the unit. Uh, so in this case, we're only doing Telco 1. Put this back and apply. And again, we will just confirm that we have TCP IP communications checked off at the bottom. Hit apply and OK. All right. And once completed, you go into your local communications. And at this point, we will proceed to do a full download here. Press OK. OK, next, we will go into the NLMOD configuration tool, which you will be programming the IP address. So we will open up the NLMOD software. Uh, very important, you, you would definitely need to be connected to the same local network as the Netlink module here in order to program it. So make sure you're connected, preferably hardwired, to the same router. So let's go ahead and proceed and press search. OK. 
Okay, and once located, we can double click on it. And I always like to perform an upload first on any contract communicating to. Uh, this will ensure that you're communicating to the module and all the default data from it is being uploaded into the program. And once complete, it'll say at the bottom, upload complete. And now we will go ahead and proceed to input the IP addresses. And we want to do that underneath the tab that says NL receiver or Netlink receivers. Uh, so as you see here, you have a primary, a second, and a third receiver. Uh, these actually correspond directly to Telco 1, Telco 2, and Telco 3. Uh, so as you see here, if we were doing duplicate IP addresses for Telco 1 and Telco 2 and you had this disabled, uh, you would put an IP address on the primary and secondary. And also a lot of installers like to do redundant reporting. So you could do uh, Starlink radio, say as a primary reporting through cellular. Um, and then telephone number three, you could disable this and have this report TCP IP redundantly to your central station. Just you need to make sure that you would put your IP address underneath the third receiver here and not mistakenly underneath the primary. Because again, these correspond directly to Telco 1, Telco 2, and Telco 3. So we'll go ahead and uh, put in our IP address here of our central station. So, uh, one, and we will go ahead and download the selected account and then press yes. And this is processing. Okay, so that completed and it says please allow up to 30 seconds before access in this NL mod. So we completed the programming via the quick loader for Windows and we also programmed our IP address here. So this is pretty much done as far as any of the programming. Now, very important at this point, since all the programming is done, you will need to connect a serial cable on the Netlink module uh, to the control panel's local serial port, and then you can proceed to test your system. So the local port is located here, uh, and this will get connected to the uh, control panel's local serial port uh, so that signals can be sent via the control panel through the Netlink module. So that completes our video tech tip for how to program your alarm control panel and Netlink module to report full contact ID via TCP IP communications. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give our videos a like and subscribe to our NAPCO YouTube channel for future video tech tip releases. Thank you for choosing NAPCO and have a great day.